Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today we are going to know exactly what we can expect to get from this upcoming events in Valorant. Stay tuned and check out for easter eggs and leak. So right off the bat, Valorant has made a post on something really good for some players who wanted to try out Valorant in their mobile. That is right. So Riot has announced Valorant Mobile. As Valorant was launched on PC a year ago on 2nd June 2020, Riot said that it's working on expanding the franchise starting with Valorant Mobile in order to bring Valorant to more players around the world. For people having problems in collecting the duality player card, I will make a separate video for those. Next we already know about it but the night market is available onto your personal Valorant account. TLDR, you can buy weapon skins which will be completely unique to your selections available to you. There will be a total of 6 skins which will be available to buy with discounts. Give it back bundle. Voting for the giving back bundle is active from time period of 2nd June to 7th June. So hop on to the link given below in the description to get a chance to choose which weapon skins should be present in the give it back bundle and the highest cumulative votes will decide which skins will be available in that set or bundle. Do remember, the winners will be announced on 16th June, then purchase for the bundles will be available from 22nd June to 8th July, and 50% of the proceeds from weapon skins and 100% from accessories in the given. You can choose from various sidearms, rifles, SMGs and snipers. The bundle will be active from 22nd June to 8th July, which you can purchase it, of course. As for the player cards, let's read through the official post first. As it says, 9th June will be the day when we can redeem the code given to us by Valorant in this site or post or some other forms to redeem the episode 1 player card. Well, on 14th June, those who want Prime membership may redeem episode 2 player card. Well, at last on 22nd June, we can redeem the episode 3 player card along with the free YR1 event pass which I will be talking about in the later part of the video. Community Battle Pass will be available to everyone from 13th June to 25th June. Let's review what the post has to say. Each of our global Valorant regions will vote for a unique item like sprays, gun buddies and titles that best reflect their local region. The Valorant development team will review the top vote earners with selected items to appear in a future community powered battle pass in episode 4. Voting will run locally so stay posted to our local Valorant channel for more details. On 21st June there is going to be a live stream for episode 3. Many leaks, announcements and informations may be discussed on that stream so make sure to watch it when it starts or subscribe to my channel and get it right when it is online. You will be joining with a panel of development team from the competitive agents and premium content teams for a look at episode 3 and year 2. On 22nd June, YR1 event pass will be available, so hold on to that. No prerequisites, no VP spend, just 7 levels of exclusive YR1 items like the episode 3 player card, a gun buddy and more. Just play Valorant, earn XP and unlock them all. Queue with your favorite entry fraggers support and lurkers to get more XP in any Valorant game mode. Squad boost runs for 1 month specifically from 22nd June to 26th July with timings coinciding with our local patch releases, okay? Your boost depends on our party size, queue as a tag team and get 8% extra XP from a triple threat and you get 12% queue with 4 and you get more than 16% 5 stack and you earn a 20 XP boost. XP from squad boost applies to all game modes except customs and it all ends on July 26th. So basically there will be a huge squad boost where more friends you play with then more experience you gather being in any mode you play together. 
WW Fest is back on 25th June, so don't miss out on that and check the Valorant post. And some things you should know before you quit this video. I have been working on some major leaks on Valorant which is crucial to the game. New agents and his utilities, new maps, new changes made in the game. All this will be discussed on my next video. So make sure to subscribe and like my channel and you can share this with your friends who plays Valorant and get them informed and up to date too. Also check on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Peace.